everybody welcome back if you're new here thank you so much for joining and clicking on my name is Gemma and I own handmade gems and this is our studio vlog so I wanted to pop on and just do a in-depth tour of what I've done um, where I've put everything why I've done this and kind of show you the new space that I have I'm so excited and it's just it's been amazing to be in it's just so much better so I'm so excited and we'll get started I'm going to give you a whole tour and then kind of explain everything and why I've done so so enjoy so this is my space and I'm so excited I'll show you in a second but basically it's part of like an enclosed shed insulated shed um, and I've just got half of it and then the other half is being used for other things for my family and everything so I'm really excited the first thing you would have seen we've done is carpet so we use the carpet tiles from Bunnings and if you haven't watched the studio makeover vlog I definitely recommend go watch that because it kind of shows what I did with everything before it came to be like this but yeah this is kind of the view really exciting I'm obsessed with it but we'll go from the start Alright, so this is what we see when we walk in. Now on this side, it's just a random shelf that's being used for miscellaneous things. Um, we've got our Dyson that charges here. This is a bit of like a nothing area um, because it is the entrance, but we'll go around this way. So really exciting, but we'll start from over here. So first off, I have my fan going. So if it is a bit loud, that is what the sound is. I might turn it down if it's annoying. Um, but I need to find a better solution for my vinyl and stuff but this is just the vinyl spot at the moment and it's just literally has all my vinyl and everything so I think I'm going to try and find a better solution thinking maybe like tubes or something decorate them really not sure but that's the vinyl and then we've got just random boxes and then this is my little desk I have my little window and stuff which is like that but I need to put curtains on it so I've got curtains and fabric I just haven't really had time to sit down and make them yet so that is my next project and then this is my little desk well not little this is the desk that I always had um it's obviously just been relocated in here so I'll give you a little tour of what's in this so we have my fan which is like fan it's a it tells me like how humid everything is it's a purifier as well as a heater so it's going to be really good in winter as well and then we have my little plant here where I'm trying to save him um, I bought him with just some little burnt patches and everything but I think we're going to name him Monty so if you watched a couple of vlogs ago I wanted to have some name suggestions and I'm really liking Monty the Monstera so I just watered him so he looks a little bit sad now but he'll be happy in a second <laughs> Um, and then on the other side of my desk, I have my sewing machine, which I absolutely love, my printer, and then my little trays. And so I've kind of like organized the trays like this. Um, so I've got labels and like kind of miscellaneous things, so like all my tags, um, bobbins, sticky tape, old business cards, all that in there. Um, then I've like craft tags, scrunchie tags, all my craft paper. And then just random things down here. Yeah, obviously my laptop and stuff. And then underneath I just store like my camera stuff um, and just extra boards that I use for the fabric. And then up here is my little shelving unit sort of thing, which doesn't look 100% amazing, but it's doing its job for the moment. So I have my little trusty um, Kmart tripod sort of thing that I use for my phone. So it's got that and then it's got the light that I've kind of like looped around. Then I've got my little speaker on here just so I've got some music and you know good speaker when I'm watching things if I need. Obviously like all my scissors, highlighters, pens, everything, sticky tape, hole punch, stapler, you know, stamp, my rotary cutter, the fan remote, and just miscellaneous things. This is like my packing corner, so I take this out when I pack lots of orders and pop it over the other side. I'll show you in my packing area in a second. Um, but we've got all the thank you cards and cards, scales, my favourite candle at the moment, Blake and Arlo Lychee and Guava Sorbet. It smells amazing. I haven't even lit it yet in here purely because as soon as I take the lid off, it just smells divine and it just really makes the space smell really good. So 
I've got that and then the next level I've just got miscellaneous things so random baskets of just like spare fabric, the iron, the hand sanitizer, those sort of things, my receipt box and just like cleaning products and stuff there. And then over here I have a, oh, I've got my lamp as well which just like touches on when I need more light and it's a wireless charger too so that's really good for my phone. And then I have my clock and then my calendar. And then my whiteboard where I've got like orders to sew, orders to pack. I've actually gone through all my orders this week so I'm really excited about that. So over here I've just got like personal box and then just scrap fabric box. And then down here is just like a random basket and random basket. In there I've got like random glasses and market stuff. My bin, the pedal, that's full of fabric. And then my cricket mats. Um, just because they don't really have a spot yet. I have my Dymo label there, which stays there and it's really good. Um, all my Cricut stuff, and I actually put wheels on my Cricut, so really fun. And then just like market stuff and just kind of the random but necessities that I use. So this is my really, you know, spacious space. Um, really happy with that. This gets really hot though in the day because it's direct sunlight, so I really need to get the blinds up eventually, but we will get there soon. And then over here, I kind of just, I've stuffed like, just like balloons and then my cutting mat there, which like I put on the desk when I need. And then we come over here and I have my trolley. Um, I love my trolley and I love the organization that it is now compared to what it used to be. But start from below, there's just the random bags and stuff that I use for um, markets. And I've got like extra baubles, wristlet things, extra mentos, hair ties. All of like the extra business cards and extra things that I don't have a space for. It's kind of just like the overflow space on that one. And then here, I'm really happy with this. So these are all like my hardwares and everything. Got all my threads, all my wristlet hardware, my clip, all my hair ties for the scrunchies. And then like just everything I need, the earring hardware, pins, tape, etc. So I love this and I can take these out and like pop them on the desk when I need to. So they're really, really simple to use and I love them. Um, it kind of keeps it all really neat. So that's that spot. And then behind me, as you can see, it is really colorful and really pretty. Um, I'm obsessed with this next section. So behind me, we have boxes up the top. So they're just like packing boxes and everything. Um, and then down below is like my packing station and then just storage. So I'll flip you around. So yeah, up here we just got random boxes. I still need a name for that guy. I haven't really given him a name yet, but that's all like packing. And then we go here and I've labeled like the compostable mailers in like small, medium, large, extra large. So I know that like when I've got like bigger parcels, smaller parcels, what one to go. Um, and I just find it so much easier than it used to be. And then here I have my 2020 and 2021. These are my order files. So every single order that comes through wholesale, custom, website, whatever, goes in here. So I have a copy of it. I have my clipboard that I use for new orders and stuff. Um, my earring storage, express price tape, my Mentos jar, which I love. I think it looks so cute and colorful. And then down here, we have kind of like a shop sort of vibe. So we've got like this basket is headbands. That one is heat packs and hand warmers, which as you can see needs to be stocked up a little bit. But because we're in summer, I haven't really been bothered. Um, and then over here, we've got makeup wipes, which need to be restocked. Basket's still got a tag on it. Um, and then here we've got the trolley tokens. And then we have the scrunchie clips. So like all of them and I can see what I need to stock up and what I don't because a lot of my products are made to order. I still do have like a small amount with me at all times. Um, I just obviously don't want to make too much and then it not sell and then I, you know, not be able to make other things. So that is why I do that. Um, and I love these baskets. I think they look really cute. And they just really match the space very well. And like that's my Bunnings cube. So it's a little bit different in sizing than the Ikea as you can see. But it still does the same job. And then the Ikea cubes. I just have spare fabric which is literally jam packed. I've just like clearance fabrics or like Christmas fabrics etc. This is my bath salts. Oh and just like excess stretchy fabric. My bath salts drawer. So that's got all the jars and everything. Down here is just like packing and just like market sort of things. 
and then this one is ooh, new fabrics and just like yeah excess like bigger things so really just like overflow of items and stock etc in them so that's that section and then over here it's a little bit of a mess but I have my little thing I don't know I didn't even get that for the business we just had it lying around the house I was like well it's blue I'm claiming it so we have like this market sort of vibe thing and this is kind of just I call it the dump area at the moment because it looks quite messy but it's just all like bolts and everything boxes boards price boards ironing board and all that and then here is like my um stacking what do you call them stacking containers so i put all my scrunchies so they're like new scrunchies that are coming to the website i put them all in there and then once i put them on the website i'll move them up um and then when i make ones that aren't for markets or i just want to like make a stock up i'll pop them in there just so that i can have them and grab them because it's a lot easier so that's that and now my favorite part is this whole section here so this cupboard was actually already here in the studio and in the cupboards I am not using them they're being used for something else but I've really got just like the top bench part which is really solid bench really good as you can tell for this space so I'm very excited we have just like a random carpet tile just so that this doesn't slip and everything but this is my fabric wall and she is gorgeous she is so cute um, so colourful, like I am obsessed, just so pretty and I'm already wanting to get more and add to it but there's so many fabrics that aren't on the website there as well but there's easily, there's almost, I reckon there's over 200 there, very pretty and then up here I have just like excess packing things and just random things, I've got like paper bags, paper, like coloured paper and those sort of things and then I've got like my big paper bags um, for pickup orders and stuff, especially with jumpers and my apparel. I tend to put them in there because they're obviously a lot easier than putting them in a box. So that is that section and she looks absolutely gorgeous. And then we have this section here, which is kind of like my display. So when I'm filming, I will tend to sit like here at my desk. So the backdrop will normally be this so it's really colorful and I love it because it brings a bit of color um, you get to see all the different colors you get to see all the scrunchies and just items and everything so what I have here is I have my bath salts on display and I've got the big ones now as well as the small ones and then I've just got like these little fake roses which are already lying around so I was like well I may as well use them and then I have my famous scrunchie board which I've been using for markets I'm actually changing my one for markets so this is going to be a permanent one here and what I'm planning on doing is just having like I do at the moment all my newbies so all the new scrunchies that have been released on the website will go on here so they're in the back of videos they're in the back of things and then every month um, with every release I'll change it up so as you can see we had 14 different scrunchies that went on this month so there's all different colors patterns and everything so they're really cute and then over here we have our wristlet stand which is has been very topped up recently as you can tell with a lot of new wristlets so sneak peek on the colors and everything coming and then this one stays a bit empty because this is like my packing stickers that I use for all my orders which are, I just I love because they're so rustic and just so simple so they can hang on there so it's easy to pack and then this is my little packing station so I bring the orders over here in that little tub and everything and then I pack them on here and I've got all my tissue paper I've got this good backdrop. My embroidery I did in lockdown last year and I don't know, I think it just adds a little bit, especially when I'm filming like TikToks and stuff, just like little videos. I'll put my tripod sort of thing here and it will kind of look that way. So it just shows that, you know, handmade gems and all that. But yeah, I love it because it's, it's actually just like a space that's different and separate to where I sew my things. It's not the same spot. And so I can just like dump this and be like, yep, yeah, this is packing, that's sewing, etc. So really happy with that 
and then we go up and we see my banner and so this is where my banner is going to live when I'm not at markets and when I'm not using it in stores and everything I do need to fix it still says Etsy and obviously I don't have an Etsy shop anymore I just have the website so I need to fix it I did fix it for the market and then the like little label came off and it just it wasn't a vibe so I need to fix that but that is where that goes but I actually love this space so much one last thing to show you so the last thing i wanted to show you was this rack here so ignore all the life jackets and everything in the background but this rack i actually found on hard waste the other week and it is perfect in my studio makeover vlog i set up a whole different rack and it just felt really tacky to me and i just really didn't like it so I set up this one, found it on Hard Rubbish, it was completely free obviously, and I just, you know, tied in a few more screws on the bottom, and here it is. So, it's got a lot of, like, storage space on the bottom, so I've got all my market boxes of, like, my scrunchies and stuff, and as you can see, there's, like, the rack sort of thing on the bottom, and it's adjustable too, which is good, but I've just got, currently, my jumpers, and just samples of, like, t-shirt and other sort of jumpers. So I will hang them whenever I make them and just anything I need to hang there. And then this is my pickup box, which I need to decorate. I kind of upgraded. I needed something a bit more weatherproof and everything. So I wanted to get an enclosed one. And then we have just like random things. So like scrap fabric, pre-made scrunchies, basket, all those sort of things. So that's kind of just like the miscellaneous corner as well. So that is the last bin. I also have my lovely hanging plant here, which she doesn't have a name either. So um, I love the kind of Teresa sort of look of that hanging pot. And it just hangs from the ceiling and it's just so pretty. Adds a little bit of greenery. As you can tell, I'm a massive plant lover. So I've got a lot of things, plants and just like greenery. I plan on having a few more things. I would love like a fiddle leaf or something plant, like the big ones that are in the pots. If I can find a photo, I'll insert a photo on the screen here. But I would love one of them down, the, down in the future, down the track, whatever you want to call it. I just don't know where I'd put it because I've obviously, I've got so much more space than I had. Um, because it, I used to do my business out of my bedroom. So I never really had heaps of space. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to clutter myself. Like at the moment, I have a good amount of like movement um, and all of that. I just do a 360 turn. But how pretty does that look? I am obsessed with it, but yeah, I know a lot of you have been complimenting and everything if you've been following our Instagram, um, you've been complimenting the wall and I agree, it is so aesthetically pleasing, I just, I love it so much and I'm so, so happy with this space, like the only downside is the fact that it gets quite hot in summer. But that's what the fans for and I will just deal with it. I don't tend to be out here if it is really hot. Like today, it's kind of that humidity sort of environment that I don't really like. And if that's the case, I'll just kind of be inside and then when it calms down, I'll come in here like late afternoon, early evening. Absolutely love this space and I really hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. I will definitely run through any improvements or anything I make in the future. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you stick around and press that subscribe button. It really helps me out and lets me know what videos you like seeing. Um, if you like seeing market videos, vlogs, studio vlogs, etc. Please let me know. Um, let me know your favourite part of my studio. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you really enjoyed this vlog and make sure you stick around. In the meantime, stay gorgeous.